Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to what may possibly be the final episode of the Splatoon single player. We are here in World 5, two more Zapfish before the big bad boss and possibly a trip to that scary, scary UFO high above the Inkopolis skies. Thank you guys for all your support in this series. I'm so glad you've been having fun with me. Now we've got to go to level 26 and we'll have to face off against what looks like an Octoline Onslaught. Uh, from high above, so let's reach that place. Last time we cleared out four levels here in World 5, and now it's our time to clear out a couple more. Um, and from there, I don't know. I've, I have not beat this game. I know what the end reward is, and I'm really excited to see that. And I've heard that this has one of the best bosses uh, in shooters in a long time, so I'm very excited to move there with you as well. But first, we have to go to the Rumble at the Rig. An Octoline Onslaught is upon us. And I'm gonna do my darndest to keep all of my squiddy bits in one piece. We've got evil kelp demons. They could spring from anywhere! Alright, and we're using this glorious, it's like baby mint green. I don't even know what you call this kind of ink. Um, I do have a, a capacity upgrade ready for you guys. I forgot to use it. I was so excited to chase these octopi kids. Uh, but we'll do it definitely at the end of this level. I've got an Inkzooka, and these guys are gonna meet their maker. Get gone, get got, get hot in my spot. I will take you down, even if I have really weird, this kind of reminds me of like glue. Uh, the ink here, God, my voice is still like half gone. It's been gone this whole series. It's like I got fish in my throat, but I promise I don't. Um, but this ink, it kind of reminds me of like, if Elmer's glue was a little bit rotten, you know what I mean? Like someone put a little bit of mold in their Elmer's glue, which is like a really gross thought. Or maybe it's like, oh, you know what it kind of looks like? It kind of looks like if someone put, like, they tried to flavor, like, amoxicillin? Oh god, with, uh, like, cucumbers. Holy cow, bombs away. Maybe I shouldn't insult the color of ink and we'll have a better chance uh, to win this one today. Let's go. I gotta watch out for that corner, that's the problem. Uh, they get me around that corner. I should probably let them use their stupid bombs. Whoa, stay alive, stay alive. Use this wall as my cover. I'm gonna send a seeker up there. See if that can do some work. Boom! A direct hit, and that surely helps. Looking good, Agent 3. I agree, from you to me. We're pretty sweet. Alright, that's some extra freebies. Let me get to a higher level. Looks like someone could be around here. There is! Octopi! That was a great look you got at their uh, octopus form, which is pretty hot. An exclusive straight from Agent 3. And we pick up the scroll. Luscious baby. Oh, wow. Kelp Jr. Diving in like this is some sort of long jump contest. The Olympics are next year, girlfriend. Stay out the way. I'm gonna grab this armor. Uh, and we'll head over this way, I guess. Don't beef it, squid. Don't beef it. Is that freaking rocket power? <laughs> they must be huge fans of Nickelodeon uh, here at the Splatoon Studios because we've seen Squidward now, and I believe that's uh, Otto from Rocket Power, if I'm not mistaken. Where's the Ah Real Monsters reference? That's what I want next. Boom, bam, binge. I binge on the octopi like they're some sort of tasty croissant. Get out of here. You are my croissant. No, whoa, Nelly. Boom, country grammar. Sending that guy straight back to his own area code. Upsy daisy we go. We've got a single antennae. It's better than zero. You're near the zapfish, and we've got a crazy kelp demon looking to ruin our day. Let's send in that. Swim around back. Shoot him up above, and the bomb tried to make me go splat, but instead I splatted them. I think there's another one. Yep. Oh god. Whoa, breaking my armor. But I broke you up and down and all around. Let's hit this. Wait, one more, one more, one more. I thought we were free from the tyranny of the Octopi children, but the Octolines, they keep the pressure on, baby. Uh, boom, that's a blowed up baby octopus. Sayonara, sucker. I'm gonna hit this gusher and raise myself to Zapfish number 30. And we are moving and grooving to level 27, approaching what I think might be the end of the game. I think. If there's a World 6, like, color me incredibly colorful, because I would be super happy, but I'm not sure that that's the case. A 12,000-year-old fossil of a creature with an odd internal skeleton. Small skull indicates the creature was likely primitive with little intelligence. This specimen appears to have been fossilized in the middle of some kind of ritual. Interesting. So humans in this universe, in the squid, uh, octopi, turf war, Inkopolis universe, 
humans are the ancient creature. And you can see the Wii U, the gamepad, and a very strange Pro Controller Wiimote concoction that I've heard actually works in Splatoon, so you can use motion control with the Pro Controller, which is some insane madness that they put in the game, but very interesting. So these creatures in this timeline is actually post Humanity, which means we're all dead in their world, which is kind of freaky. Uh, I'm gonna just forget that thought and super jump to the unavoidable flying object in the skate park encounter level 27. Here we will use all our skills against the inevitable ink strikes and the big fatties. Alright, here we are. Any more Nickelodeon references? Another Octo Striker! Octo Snipers, too. Keep your head down. Alright, great. They've got the best and the worst. What does that say? Ko is your friend? Ko is your- that's Squidward again! Why does it say Ko, though? Am I, like, reading wrong? Did I forget letters? C-minus is your friend? C-minus? I don't even know what that means. Whoa! I'm gonna ride the waves, otherwise known as the skate park ramps, all up, around, down, and over town. And let's go back this way. And I'm just gonna make sure I stay out of the ink strike range. And everything should be okay. Burst for cover, and bop that little willy all the way out of this area code. All right, ink strike, not a match for me. Especially not tonight. Three points, and a bubbler. Thank you. And the scroll is up that way, so we'll head there in a split second. And I'm gonna go up here, a key. That's the key, now get to the vault. The secret formula is locked away. No! Breaking my armor, and making cool sweet squiddy patterns. All right, um, how am I gonna get over there? Get gone. All right, cool, and more armor. I've got the bubbler if I need it, um, but as of right now, I don't need it. Come on. Grab that armor. Wow, lots of snipies. Holy crap. Holy crap. Pop goes and that catfish. How do I get up there, you think? Aha! I found- Whoa, Nelly! Golly goodness. Nelly is somehow in every single episode. It's kind of freaking me out. I thought he was a rapper. Alright, um, he's making an appearance in Splatoon now. Alright. Swim like the fish out of the sea. Bubble for you and bubble for me. Good night, Sniper Dan. Good night, Sniper Bill. We've unlocked the vault. Imposing our will. Squids for the presidency. That's what they say. Good night, Ink Striker. Today is not your day. It's mine. The final checkpoint. He's got baby versions of these guys all ready to make his tummy go oomph. And he's throwing bombs, which I do not appreciate. Luckily, I got some armor over here. He's gonna call another ink strike. I'm just gonna keep plastering him until we're blastering him. And we send him back to the depths from which he came. Good work. Zapfish, you're mine. Boom. There we go. All 27 levels out of the Eerie Code. I don't even know what that means. That's how how much ink is stuck in my brain right now. All right, for this final challenge, oh my beloved Judd, it seems the day has finally come. This capsule is designed to remain cryogenically sealed for 10,000 years. Goodbye, my perfect little kitty cat. May your meows echo through the ages. Holy crap. So a human put the freaking victory cat in a time capsule for 10,000 years. Humans haven't been around for 10,000 years. That's crazy. Or at least things haven't been safe for 10,000 years, which is terrifying for me as someone who now lives as a human. Believe it or not, I'm actually a human. You've got all the little guys, just the zapfish to go. Up, up, and away we head. But, let's upgrade our gear first. Um, this is the increase of rate of fire, which is pretty beautiful. Um, and then just for the fun of it, I'm gonna get burst bombs, because why the heck not? Uh, since we're at, towards the end of the game here. And I'll upgrade them to radius 2. Now, everything's level 2. I mean, the upgrade here is 1500, but I don't think we really need that. Um, and now I've got to go higher up, so... Um, alright. Good little landing there. I gotta get on this one, and then I think we ride it straight to the top. Take me to your leader. Oh, it's right there? Okay. So we'll go here, and then call this guy towards us. Cool. Aha, and then the sponge says hello, and the boss is right here. Are you guys ready to go? Where is that UFO? Do we see it? There it is! To the UFO! We're super jumping straight up! I knew we would do it! 
to the boss kettle. Let's finish this world five boss. Enter the Octobot King. Are you ready? Are you ready? Put your hands in the air for all of the squids around the globe. We're gonna seal the deal on the octopi scum once and for all in their freaking kettle UFO. Oh my gosh. Off to outer space we travel. A little bit nervous for this one. <sighs> oh my! The great zapfish! Stay back, Agent 3, it's a trap! Figures! But we don't have a choice. Oh god, the great zapfish. Oh holy saint, zapfish. With your electric whiskers of love. Tickle my fancy with all of your beautiful, beautiful static. Make me whole again, once more complete. You are the zapfish I adore. Bye. Great, sucked up into a spaceship. This isn't looking good. This guy is an alien octopus. Or he's just a dance machine. Nope, he's an octopus, okay. That guy looks like he means business. He's got the crossed arms, the golden helmet, and broccoli, or sea anemones, or something. Oh yeah. DJ Octavio guy, yeah, ha, 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 I'ma remix your face. Wow, it's a freaking DJ Octopus. This is probably the best thing ever. Someone said this was like one of the best bosses they'd ever seen, and now I know why. Holy cow! Don't make me die. Seriously, I don't know what it is about Splatoon, but it makes me like want to rhyme like every five seconds. I do apologize if that feels like some sort of criminal action to you. Oh my god. Boom! I busted his fist into his face! And we're advancing ahead. Heave ho, heave ho, let's go! Pushing forward on these platforms of pain. Oh yes! Another one bites the dust, or at least another one hits him in the face. Thanks for the balls. Oh god. Bombs away. This is absolutely fun. I love that he's like making crazy tunes. Freaking DJ Octopi, Octavio, whatever his name is. And my firing rate, you can see, is coming in huge handy here. As I just blaster master all of his little purple goos. Get my angle. Bombs aren't really coming in handy here, although I bet I could splat bomb up there. Oh, I missed. Okay, well. Oh, golly. Yeah, the splat bomb does a little bit of damage, but not a whole lot. Looks like his fists are about to wear thin anyway, so we should be alright soon. Ah, boom! In the face, space! DJ Octavio. Uh-oh, he's growing another fist. Y'all ready for this? Uh-oh. Dubstep mode engaged. Holy crap, what's happening now? Oh, golly! Oh, golly! Oh, golly! Ah! Whoa! <laughs> oh, we're playing like a volleyball with this. I see, alright. As he launches more loving explosions at us at the same time. Yes! Shoot him! Plaster him with orange! We're making him into Kraft Macaroni and Cheese, baby! This is dino rific and he knows it. How do I get over there? Uh-oh. After him! Alright. Multi-stage boss. They really mean it this time. I like it. Watch out, Agent 3. He's packing a mean laser. No, oh, Nelly. Alright. What's this? Armor up. Oh, gosh. Great music. Great boss. And he's a freaking octopus. I don't know that I could ask for more Splatoon. I don't know that I could. Boom! <laughs> oh, dang! Double tubble! I said tubble. That's how exciting this is. He's got tubble. Tubble is like ink stubble, you know? There's the secret scroll. Thank you. And the Fist of Fury. Oh, no, I fell! <gasps> Crabarella. Let's do it this time, baby. Look at him scrub those turntables with his asparagus. Boogaloo, let's go. Oh, golly goodness. Probably should not have gone through that killer whale that's built in his spaceship. Not a good idea. All right. Let's let it burn. Okay, okay. Okay, let's miss that fist. I think it's better to hit the fist in the air. I wonder if he... Okay, I was going to say, I wonder if we could shoot his, like, little hole things, but I guess that's not really possible. Yeah, you want to kind of get them while they're in the air. That's probably the best way to bust these things. There comes this killer whale. There comes that. There comes his fist, and let's shoot it right back at him. Boom, baby. Let me bust you loose. All right. Should I stay here? I don't know. I kind of want to push him back, but I kind of want to just be over here so I got a little more space to work with. 
Get that fist straight back at you. Boom. All right, now we're really knocking him back. Now I'm going to come back and grab this sunken scroll and stay out the way of the killer whale. Which fist? It's the right one. The right fist in the air. DJ Octavio screaming and yelling like you just don't care. But I sure care. And that's why I'm going to rise high above. Oh, God. Drop. Oh, my golly. And this fist is coming at me. Right back at you. Oh, God. Almost got two in one. That would have been absolutely epic. Sorry for the insane squid grunts. Things are just getting real serious. I'm gonna dodge the laser blast. It's gonna be the left fist. No. Peep this. Oh god. Is he gonna launch his freaking pineapple at me again? Here it comes. Pineapple grenade. Oh god. And the laser beam. It has sunglasses on. Freaking Kanye glasses on his. Oh my god, that's epic. On his pineapple bomb, there are Kanye glasses. He's punching it in the air. Ah! Yes! Blog. Okay. Come on, man. Macaroni, macaroni. I can't handle the spicy wasabi beets. Uh-oh. Things are really heating up. <sighs> this must be the third and final platform, I bet. Or maybe not. Sponges? He's got something big up his sleeve. What does he got? Fists. I like fists. I mean, not his fists. Not anyone's fist, actually. More armors? All right. Got to use these sponges to rise up. Rise the... Oh, God! Oh, God! Balls of octagon pain that turn into enemies? They're like pods of pain. Holy crap. That's some serious ink drain right there. All right, an ink zooka. Oh, God. I got to kill all the enemies. Oh, my God. Okay. Whoa. No. Freaking enemies. <laughs> ah! This guy is insane. Okay. One life left. This is absolutely epic. It really does put all your skills to the test, which is kind of awesome, you know? Like, it's making you use dodging, it's making you use shooting, it's making you use, what do you call, enemy fighting, these scrubby dub things, whatever they're called. Uh, I can't even think straight. Sponges, Sponge Bobber, shoot you with the freaking Zuka. Doesn't seem to do anything at all, it's alright. Oh yeah, insta-kill on the hand though. Fire at will. I'll make a freaking squid man out of you, Octopi brother. You're not my brother, you're not even my mother. Those things. Boom, there we go. Alright, fire your laser blazer. The enemies are probably coming at me right over there. Alright, cool. The fist. Dodge, duck, and cover. And shoot! I've got this. <laughs> oh yes, baby. You are no match for me. We're at the final platform. Can't you see? This is my time to shine. Armor up, baby. No, armor please. D dodge the electric whale. Shoot these guys pop goes the weasel. Alright, I've got this. Unleashing all my secret moves. <gasps> punch in the face. Double punch in the same go. Blow up that guy. Look at the orange and yellow. It's absolutely epic. You about to get mashed up. Alright, I'm guessing more pineapples. Or something. Enemies, pineapples, whales. This is ridiculous. Madness. Baby, it's madness. <laughs> no, get out of here, glasses wielding pineapple. Oh, holy. Jeez, oh, Pete's. That one failed. Okay, I'm just gonna keep popping this as he keeps charging up. More launching, more enemies, more bursting, more popping. Get out of the way of the killer whale. Shoot the pineapple. I sent it back at the last second. Holy gosh. This is freaking awesome. Do you guys think this is awesome or what? One of the coolest bosses I've ever fought. Look how crazy fast he's going on his turntables. Goodness gracious, he's turned the tempo up to like a million. And there's another level still? Way to be, Agent 3! We're going to the fourth form. This is one of the biggest boss battles in a long time. Blast those Oct torpedoes! And here comes the fist. And here comes the fist. Uh. Rock him off balance. Invisible platforms, you know what these are about. Again, combining everything that Splatoon offers into one juicy, delicious, vibrant, seafood-tastic package. Taking this guy to dinner, and he is on the menu. He himself, Octopus, is on the menu. Fire the fist. Oh, we get this one. Look at that. Oh! We're good. We're so good. Gushers. <laughs> this is absolutely epic. You can see all these, like... 
really cool, uh, what do you call it, like, just like robotic things in the background, something straight out of like Transformers or something crazy like that. Come on, bring the fists. I think there's enemies. Ah, got it! Roller balls. Oh my golly. Okay. Follow the platforms before he explodes into the ink ray again. The ink laser ray. There's still one of those little guys stuck in uh, our ink back there, the rolly ball guys. It's alright though. Here comes the fist. One and two. Uh, I've got the real groove to this now. I am on tempo for sure. He thinks he's got me beat, but I've got his beat. Uh oh, he's dropping the base now. What does this mean? Extra intensity? I don't even know. Nope. Got out the way. Holy cow. Alright. <laughs> Look at his furiousness. Look how freaking angry he is about this whole thing. He's gonna launch the pineapple. Kill the pineapple. Goodbye, Kanye pineapple. He shoots it back at us. We shoot it back at him. Blow up those things. Gotta get out. Oh, God. I missed the pineapple. I gotta keep it going. Oh, this is tricky as heck. Now he's back to fists. That's a pretty tough... If that's gonna be the victory condition, it's pretty tough. Oh, no. The pineapple is back. Okay. He just reset it. I get it. Okay. So he blasts that back. I just gotta make sure I'm not... Okay. Get the pineapple. There we go. Third time's the charm. Oh, golly goodness. Oh, yes. Dude, if this guy isn't cheesy yet, I don't know how much more cheese we need. What's this? Where's my beats? Agent 3, if you can hear our song. Radio override activated. Huh? Ah! <laughs> that heavenly melody is the one and only Squid Sisters. Oh my god, are the Squid Sisters really coming for the end of the game? Don't you ever worry your granddaughters like that again? Agent 3, take care of Gramps for us, okay? Final push charge! Oh god. We got the Squid Sisters against DJ Octavio, and he's using the light show to make things mad. As they say, sometimes the best offense is running for your life. I'm hiding on this rail and trying to get the heck out of here. All right. We got Whoa, golly. He just bought me right off the platform. That was rude. All right, I'm going to try staying back this time and see if maybe it's better if we, like, oh, golly. Stay out the way and push him back before we advance. Ah! Hit the freaking fist! There we go, good work. Alright, now we can advance. This makes more sense. Give me the armor. Armor up. I'm just gonna stay back a little bit while the Squid Sisters make DJ Octavio dance like a fool again. Over here. Get out of my face, double squid tentacle killer. Oh god, he's really going ham with the killer whale. But here come the fists, so we know we can push him back. Boom! Bam! I'm like Donkey Kong. No monkey business. Let's go. Shoot my macaroni and cheese everywhere. I've got a bubbler. And now this guy is bashing in some creepy enemies. I wish I could pop those octagons in the air. It's kind of hard. Alright. Staying alive. Staying alive. That's all I can ask for right about now. And in come the fists. One. And two. Turn. That extra fire rate increase. You guys are seeing how it's coming in handy here, aren't you? Alright. So this is where we grab the armor. And he gets serious. He's dancing around crazy. Oh, God. Almost got hit by the killer whale there. That would have been bad news. I could probably advance up a little bit, but I don't even really want a chance at this point. Instead, let's just take the fists head on. One, two, aboosh. That's like half samurai, half DJ, half crazy. All right, I don't like this. I've got so little room. There's Captain Cuttlefish. I'm almost at him. Oh, God. Nope. Ow. Ah! Holy mackerel. Like the fish. I'm just gonna hide out. Okay, I think all we might need is one more time. One more time? Yes? Uh oh, he's probably gonna do his final routine here. The ultimate dance mix. I'm gonna dub stomp you into a Bolivian! Alright, here it comes. We're ready. And he's got the killer whale, and the killer pineapple, and the killer enemies, and everything breaking my heart. One color at a time. Oh my god. Ah! Holy cow! Gross. I kind of want to like back up. I'm going to back up here. I'm going to use the bubbler on wave three. How's that sound? So he, he shoots this out. We understand. But then on this... On attempt number three, I'm going to use the bubbler. 
stay alive. Okay, I lost my armor there. Here's number two. Okay. Now bubble activate. And that way I get in here for the third. Punishing, finishing, blow. Oh, God. He's coming right to me. Can I hug him? Can I have a plush of you? I guess not. I'm bashing him. Macaroni and cheese in him. Oh, no. So sad. Crossfade to black. <laughs> All that delicious cheese spread everywhere in Ingopolis. Cabin Cuttlefish is proud. Agent 1 is proud. Agent 2 is proud. And that's the game. The Great Zapfish is back in the plaza, I guess. And we got a special message from the Squid Sisters. That's a very weird ending. Okay, it's late, but we've got a midnight news flash. Wait, wait, what's going on? What time is it? The Great Zapfish is back on Ingopolis Tower. Whoa, for serious, that's a shocker. Where was it anyways? I guess we'll never know. Well, hey, at least it's back now. Yeah, let's rock. I'm not doing voices for these two because they kind of scare me, and I feel like if I did voices, it would really infiltrate my subconscious. At this hour, eh, why not? Zapfish dance party. And I can splat the screen. Nice, all right. A little bit of green love. This is pretty nice. First person inking. Turning to blue. All right. Turning to... Hey, stop! No! Stop cleaning, man! I'm gonna get all the credits. This is kind of a little bit awkward, just spraying first person like this, but, you know, it's interesting. There's a first person mode. I just wanna get through this so you guys can see the gear that we get. And I gotta say, like, I think this Splatoon single player, while pretty short, combined with the multiplayer, makes for one of the most fun packages in a long time. Like, this game is definitely worth the 60 bucks, I think. The single player is incredibly inventive, and it doesn't overstay its welcome. Sure, there are some repeated, repeated mechanics within the stages in the sense of, like, the Octolines, but it never really feels repetitive uh, because it keeps you briskly moving through a lot of variety quite quickly, whether it's variety in terms of the actual environments, variety in terms of the mechanics, variety in terms of the enemies, variety in terms of the items, variety in terms of the color, and then there's an interesting story as well that kind of, you know, it, it's subtly told, but those scrolls offer replayability and a little bit more lore, and I just like the whole world that they've established with these squids versus uh, octopi, and then humans are actually a thing of the past, a creature that has now become extinct, and these, you know, more primitive beings the squids and the the uh, the octopi have kind of taken over the planet, and they're now fighting for control of a very colorful kingdom. Hopefully, you guys gained a lot of smiles from this game. I sure did. I loved it a lot. Like honestly, if I was reviewing Splatoon, the multiplayer package in combination with the single player campaign that we've just completed, you know, taking into account the free DLC that is planned and already has begun to arrive, like, this is definitely like a 9, 9.5 out of 10 game for me. A 10 is like so hard to achieve, but I think the fact that they've found a way to integrate a new IP into Nintendo's stable, like, that's really rare. The horses that they run with are normally Mario, Donkey Kong, uh, Luigi, you know, Pikmin, Metroid, a new character? That hasn't happened in forever for Nintendo. And the Squid Kids and the Octopi, like, the Octolines and Copolis, the whole thing, it's a very clever concept that I could see lasting around, if not for a direct sequel, definitely taking, uh, taking shape into some, you know, compilations or whatnot. I think these characters will exist in the Mario universe, uh, beyond Splatoon. I definitely hope there's more of them. They're a pretty cool, clever cast, and I like how much vibrancy they bring to what is typically a pretty dull, modern video game world. Thanks for playing, thanks for watching with me, I hope you guys had a blast today and every day that you've seen this series. It was a lot of fun, it was a quick one, and now we get our reward. So what do you win for completing the campaign in Splatoon besides a chance to spray in first person all sorts of different colors? And it changes colors, and it keeps changes color, changing colors, and it goes through all of the tones of Splatoon. I mean, I guess we can just sit here and like have this weird lava lamp on our screen, more like an ink lamp, and just spray this squid boy and squid girl through eternity, but alas, we get the hero suit replica armor. We get the helmet, the jacket, and the shoes, and the Octo suit acquired. So I get to dress like an Octoline online. I get the goggles. They've got automatic three slots, the boots and the chest vest, which is nice. So now I can go and do my dirty work as an Octoline 
as I swallow all the squid children on the multiplayer servers. I am beasting it up over there. If you guys want to see more Splatoon videos, multiplayer and whatnot, let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button. Hope you had fun with this series. Hope to see you around on another series soon. This is probably the coolest game of the summer, but there's definitely more coming in the coming weeks and months and the rest of the year. Batman Arkham Knight, Metal Gear Solid 5, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Halo 5, lots of good stuff. Hopefully more from Nintendo as well, but we'll have to find out what is in store soon. Until that time though, guys and girls, thanks so much for watching. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Squids, Octopi, what a wonderful world, and we'll see you all later. Oh, and by the way, I'd be remiss if I didn't reveal that that is one of my favorite boss battles of all time. I love the fact that they included DJ Octavio and wrapped him into a stage of his own. Rather than just a simple platform and a boss encounter, they gave him his own platforming moment where he was able to shine for a good 6-7 minutes. That was pretty intense, pretty challenging, combined all our skills, and I loved it. I love you guys as well, so we'll see you all later.